What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today I'm showing you my favorite drop spots in chapter 5 of Fortnite. Now these are some pretty awesome spots I gotta say and uh, I'm gonna show you a bunch of them. I'm gonna show you three that are basically my go-to spots that are really reliable and end up getting like just a crazy amount of loot and as well as medallions and mythics. So uh, we'll show you these three spots and then I'm gonna show you some extras as well. All right, so my first favorite spot is right here underneath Pleasant Piazza to the southeast a little bit and it's uh, Jonesy's bunker basically. So uh, you can go there a couple ways. You can go through the cave over here, this little tunnel and go in there or you can go through this building right here uh just realize i said pleasant piazza that is pleasant piazza it gets me every time so yeah down here it's it's crazy man i'll show you so there are tons of weapon chests right here you just start pulling all these off and they're gonna be guaranteed rare or higher so blue or higher guns guaranteed snipers uh, tons of weapons here. It's re it's really, really awesome. Uh, always an AR in this chest, I think, as well. So, wow, look at that. I have got a setup already. Now we just kind of figure out which sniper we want. We are going to take this uh, over to fencing fields, and we're going to upgrade it. All right, so that's probably the best shotgun we got. And this is just kind of starter loot. I mean, it's a great starting loot, right? Like, we just got a lot of loot right off the rip that's all blue and higher. I really like this site right here, the hollow site for sniping. So we got some pretty good loot. Now we're gonna head out to fencing fields. We're gonna get the medallion, the mythic AR, which is absolutely broken. And then we're gonna go down to the vault and we're gonna customize our sniper. So that is the loot path after this. And the best way to get there from here is to just go across the street to this little Amazon warehouse looking thing over here. Loot that place if you want to, if you, if you don't have good loot yet, which I'm missing some shields right now. So I could do a lot better with my loot in terms of like mobility. I'm really not too stoked on the fact that I don't have much mobility. But I do see that somebody just got the medallion at fencing. Oh, hold up. Uh-oh. Oh, that post really briefed us right there. Nice thing about this spot is that there's lots of cars. Yeah, we don't have any mobility to really fight that. All of our weapons are unloaded, so we gotta go. Okay, now actually, we're just rotating to fencing fields to try to get this mythic in the uh, medallion here. But this is my second favorite drop spot, or at least one of my favorite drop spots, because you can land on the slurp tank right here. You break the slurp tank, and then you go ahead and go down the hill over here. And there's a little shack over here that usually has a weapon or two. Also has uh, slurps in it, slurp barrels. There's some ability, and usually there's uh, in the attic. There's a chest as well, so you can get stuff there. And this is usually how I start my games if I want to drop hot. Oftentimes there's loot in these little wagons. I also like to pick up these little berries that spawn around here. Yeah, there's a bunch of flow berries in the fields over here. I like to pick them up because uh, they're really good mobility in a pinch. They can get you uh, moving pretty quick. And somebody just dropped a crown over there. Time to take that off them. But yeah, that's my second favorite spot. Actually, that might be my first. And then I rotate usually into this area here and I just start looting it. There's tons of loot in this whole POI. It's one of the reasons why it's my favorite spot. But yeah, there's tons of loot. Uh, real quick, if you are enjoying this video, please consider smashing that like button, body slamming the subscribe button, and gently clicking the notification bell to be alerted every time I drop a new video. Thank you so much, my friend. Let's get back to it. All right, got the medallion, the mythic AR, and we're good to go. Wait, where's the mythic AR? Just the mythic pump, where'd the mythic AR go, bro? Somebody ran off with the mythic AR, and that's a problem. So from here, we're gonna rotate into fencing, basically upgrade our sniper. Well, actually, I'll just show you where the vault is really quick in case you missed it. There's tons of ways to get in here. My favorite is just to go right here, break open the, the ceiling right here, and just drop down here, and uh, it's in here. Oh. Somebody's here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so then we customize our sniper right here. Uh, put on the mods that I like to use, which is definitely this one right here. Reduce time to ADS. And the hollow sight, everything after that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, actually, the drum, definitely drum magazine. And now you have a five-shot sniper that is absolutely crazy. Uh, I will also break all the gold in this vault. One of the nice things about this POI is that you can just break the floor here and uh, get all the gold that way and all the loot. 
makes it uh, pretty much get your money back for upgrading all your weapons. I'm also going to upgrade this one to my favorite loadout here. Uh, if you guys have watched my loadout videos, you'll know that uh, these are how I set up my weapons. Absolute laser beam if you set your weapon up like this. This AR is now absolutely crazy. You can see it has zero recoil whatsoever. It is an absolute laser beam. Uh, another great thing about this POI is that it has health machines, so you can buy uh, med kits. I'm gonna buy a couple med kits because I'm stuck in the storm. And then uh, once I'm at fencing fields, I usually rotate out with the vehicles over here. There's a vehicle parking lot uh, that has cars over here, usually G-Wagons as well as uh, these whiplashes. And uh, yeah, overall just a really, really good POI. Lots of loot, good rotation with all these vehicles. And it's fairly central map, so that's also really nice. If you ever end up at this lake, there's actually a jump pad on uh, this boat over here, you can see. Right there is a jump pad. Just FYI. All right, now let's show you my next favorite drop spot. All right, now one of my other favorite drop spots is the yacht over here, uh, the Marigold Yacht. And I like it because it's fairly uncontested and there's just a lot of loot here as well as some good mobility or rotation with these jump pads. So we got a contested drop here. I'm gonna go ahead and go towards the back of the boat here. Give myself some space. Oh, I accidentally dropped onto the jump pad. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Good thing I had a flow berry. <laughs> All right, we need to find a gun. Come on, find us a gun, find us a gun. Any gun, any gun. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of loot on this ship, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, we got that guy finally, jeez. The boss here drops a key card, which opens a vault. And I gotta say the vault is a little underwhelming, but we're not really here for the vault. What we're mostly here for is uh, all the loot. There's tons of chests on every floor. You just keep going down floor by floor from top to bottom and uh, finding loot. And all the floors here are easily breakable. Uh, it's like three swings, three good swings, and you break them. I like to hit these slap barrels just for speed. Open this here take that because it's a better AR. Okay, someone's swimming to us. So this always has a rare chest here, which is nice. What's nice also is that we can like move through this ship fairly fast if we want to. Lots of loot throughout all these little like corridors and the cabins down below. Just yeah, a really, really solid amount of loot. You could probably get a full squad looted off the ship and then uh, you could get two players looted really well off this ship, I'd say. And yeah, you can break through all these walls. Everything on the ship is breakable. One really nice thing is there's tons of metal. The whole of the ship, the bottom of it down here. If you're a builds player, all this is metal down here. You can just break all these walls and uh, get a ton of metal so that's always nice as well people do arrive at the ship like kind of after the fact hoping that no one's here or just kind of like using it for rotation as well from the ship here you can now rotate with these jump pads you can pretty much go anywhere you want but i generally head towards pleasant piazza i grab a dirt bike usually over on this shore here if there is one and i go towards pleasant piazza i might loot a little bit in there if i need to then i'll go to jonesy's area if i don't have really good loot already i might pick up the weapons from the cases over there and then i'll rotate into fencing fields now we're a little too late for fencing fields in this game because uh, the medallion's already gone and it looks like the mythic's gone as well. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over here and I'll show you there's usually dirt bikes on this beach. Yep, there they are. Is that a bush bomb? Yep, I like bush bombs. I'm picking that up over heels because I'm planning on finding myself a medallion. Oh, the other nice thing about this area is that there's lots of radio towers in the area. There's usually one that spawns here and I think there's one that spawns somewhere in this, maybe here. So usually by the time you're coming out of here, the radio towers are coming in. They show up at the second storm after the first storm starts closing in. All right, now let's talk about some bonus drops, which we're just gonna go over in Fortnite.gg to make it quick. Number one, to the south of the map right here, there's like this weird little haunted castle kind of area that has a vault as well. Generally not too contested when I've dropped there and uh, it's got a lot of loot, a lot of floor loot, a lot of chests there. So a uh, pretty great spot to drop as a solo or a duo. There's 16 chests there, a ton of floor loot, and it's also got a launch pad there. You hit that launch pad and then you can go over here to this little island, hit the other launch pad, 
add, and then come all the way over here to this little unnamed location as well, which has a ton of chests. It's got 10 slurp barrels actually in this little tower over here, which is kind of cool. It's got a slurp truck over here on the edge, and you could do the opposite way, right? You could drop here, hit the slurp truck, get some chests from this tower, get these chests, whatever, and then go over here and go to this pad and then this pad over here, however you want to do it. But uh, if you do it from right to left, you can then hit the slurp truck, grab a little extra loot, and then go over to uh, Snooty Steps and try to get the Mythic Shotgun. And Snooty Steps has a ton of loot. And by the time you get there, uh, things should be finishing up or the guy with the medallion and the Mythic should be kind of walking out and you might be able to get him on his way out. All right, another good spot is up here to the north. So up here to the north is this unnamed location here that actually has a lot of chests and a vault up here. It's near this mountain. There's a jump pad up here as well. And you can basically hit this get a good amount of chests as well as get a small vault and then you can come down to classy courts and classy courts has a ton of floor loot as well as a lot of chests it's kind of an underrated spot a few times that i've landed there i've been like wow i'm actually pretty looted because there's a lot of just uh, floor loot laying around and it's fairly easy to navigate you know it's like a tennis court area good amount of chests there so really solid spot that when i've landed there has been pretty uncontested it's got 27 30 chests right there at classy courts and i think there's vehicles there as well so from there you could go over to uh, Lavish Lair and get the Mythic Shotgun which is absolutely busted. The Auto Mythic Frenzy Mythic Shotgun from uh, Tony the Tiger over there as well as get the medallion that heals you over time and then get into the vault and modify your weapons. So those are two extra little bonus ones that are kind of fun as well. If you don't want to drop hot you know you can try out these little extra areas that have a ton of loot as well and some good rotations into the Mythic Vaults so that you can customize your weapons and all that. So generally speaking this season though I try to land towards the center of the map because if you get out here and you spend too much time moving around you're going to get caught in the storm and then you're going to have to rotate in. So if you're landing on these outskirts areas try to be quick about it. You know don't get too committed to looting the entire building. Generally there's quite a bit of loot on the way over to a mythic vault so just try to move fast and uh, yeah that is my general advice for that. Alright guys if you found this video helpful please leave a like on the video and if you would consider Consider using code TobyWanShinobi in your Fortnite item shop. That helps me more than you will ever know, I promise you. And uh, if you want to improve your Fortnite Zero Build gameplay, check out my channel and go to my must-watch Fortnite Zero Build playlist. I promise it's going to help you out. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.